Hey guys, welcome back and welcome to our new apartment. Guys, we literally picked up the keys 10 minutes ago. We only just walked through the door now. We're still kind of like freaking out every time we look around, but I wanted to do a quick empty apartment tour. We do have a car full of stuff down like in the car park that we're about to move in. And Cal's dad is helping us like move stuff today. And I think the fridge that we ordered is getting delivered. Well, it could arrive like any moment now. So hopefully I can smash out this quick apartment tour. I really wanted to show it to you because we're definitely gonna like furnish this together. And I've never done one before, so I feel like it could be really fun. But if you're new here, hi. I'm, oh, hi, that's Kel. Hey. <laughs> if you're new here, hi, my name is Beth. I just moved from Canada to Australia. I am an Australian citizen, but I was living in Canada for two and a half years on an IEC visa. So, yeah. If you haven't subscribed, you should definitely subscribe because we are going to have so much fun figuring out low-key what I'm gonna do with the rest of my life now that I'm back in Australia and also like furnishing this apartment. Okay, I'm gonna get Cal to film. Cal, are you ready? Yeah. Woohoo. Oh yeah, guys, I don't know if we have power in here right now, so the lighting might be a bit shonky, but this is just a very realistic, empty apartment tour. Oh my God, hi, I wasn't expecting you. What did I say? Is it welcome to my, you know what? It's outdated, it's been done. <laughs> it's been done before. Welcome to my crib. <laughs> Honestly, this apartment has a pretty similar layout to our Vancouver apartment, apart from the fact that it has two bedrooms. So you've just come in through the door, and to the right is the kitchen. I never know how to explain kitchens, but this one I really like because in our last apartment in South Bank, we only had a like wall kitchen, but this one we obviously have like the bench here. We've got some other bench things over here. Well, the fridge that we have ordered that is going to get here like potentially any second now is going to go in this cupboard. Come fridge on. cupboard. <laughs> yes, yeah, so that will go in there. Obviously, we have a sink. Is this just a cupboard or is this the dishwasher? I think this is like the under sink cupboard. Okay. You know, cleaning stuff. <laughs> cleaning stuff. <laughs> That's the cupboard, that's where the microwave is gonna go. And then yeah, this is like a little dishwasher, which I feel like is fancy. This drawer. Then we just have the stove top. Honestly, I kind of like these stove tops better than the ones that are just flat. I thought I wanted those flat ones in my life, but Kel's parents have them. And I don't know, I feel like they're just a fuck around. Like I'm spilling water on them, it's like, sizzling. If you spill food on it, it starts burning. Anyway, mm -hmm. I'm very excited about this. And then yeah, these are just some cupboards. Is this a cupboard? No, that one's, I think that's just to cover the range would thing. Well, there's cupboards on the side. <laughs> this is, I guess, the pantry? Yeah, oh, huge. Oh, there's a dead bug. Ooh. Ooh. Well, that came with the house for free. Dead bug. This is the pantry. I'm actually really excited about it because in our South Bank apartment, we just had this thing. It was kind of like this. It was like that size, but it was like a slide out. Yeah, and then it had like, there. I went to do it as if it was going to fucking slide out. But it just came out and had racks, so I'm actually so excited to have a pantry. Anyway, this is the kitchen. Not the biggest fan of this color, but at the same time, I it's, feel like- It's pretty it like inoffensive though. Yeah, like, we can like make it work. We can yeah. have fun with it. I like this bit up here. This? Yeah. Yeah, this is cool. Oh, this is the aircon yeah. remote. <laughs> guys, I don't know what we should put on here. Actually, I don't know if you have any ideas, Cal, but I'd guys, like to put a plant. Yeah, we should put some plants up here. Anyway, guys, if you have any ideas at like any point of how we should like furnish the place and like put things in certain spots, please let us know because we are doing this together. Yeah. Oh, we should do the bathroom first, I feel like. Oh yeah, true. Okay. We don't have any electricity, but this is the bathroom. Can we turn flash on when you film? Or can I use like your phone maybe? I can't believe this is what we're doing for this right now. It's like some Blair Witch Project <laughs> shit. Maybe <laughs> don't point it at the camera because it's like fla oh. flaring out big time. <laughs> Actually, you know what? When we have the electricity on, I'll in this whole bit. You're not even gonna see this because I'll just refilm it when we have electricity. Okay, guys, and then we have the lounge room. I think the plan is that we're gonna put our TV on this wall here and we're gonna put our couch here. We have a couch coming tomorrow and a new bed as well, which is very exciting. Also, if you guys have been watching me for a while, you'll know that I am thinking about going back to study. So I think I'm going to put a desk potentially in here. Just because even though this apartment is two bedrooms, one of the rooms is going to be our room and then the other room will be Cal's office because he like works from himself and works from home. But I also would like to have an area. So I think, do you think that will work okay? Yeah. Maybe my area could be over there. 
Yeah, yeah by the window. Yeah, you could go desk and then couch or something. Yeah, desk, couch, and then guys, over here, I think instead of getting like a kitchen table or anything, we're just gonna get a couple of stools and do like a breakfast bar moment. Do yeah, you think that was breakfast cool? bar. One thing I like, if you like come closer, this bench space, if you're watching this and you live in a house or a big apartment, like just keep in mind that this is an apartment in the Melbourne CBD. Like it's small, okay? I'm not gonna try and like fool you, but I feel like this has enough space to like maybe have like dishes here or if you're making something, then also have like enough space to actually eat without mm. eating over the sink, so. Yeah. I don't know where we're gonna get stools from. I also don't know what color stools we'll get, but comment below. You think you know. Honestly guys, my favorite part about the lounge room and honestly the whole apartment is the view. As soon as I walked in, because obviously when you walk in the door, like this is what you see. I saw the view and was like, I don't even care if I don't see the rest of the apartment. Like I'm sold. I also do like the rest of the apartment. But this is the view. I like it because when we lived in South Bank, we had like a completely different view. Obviously it was like the completely different side of the city. But yeah, this is the balcony. I'm not gonna open the door because it is quite loud. I think we'll probably just put like a table and chairs out here maybe just have a little kind of entertaining area this apartment does have like a sun terrace actually on our floor before i knew that was there i thought we'd probably spend a lot of time on the balcony but i honestly feel like if we have people over or if we want to go hang outside and do work we'll probably just go to the sun terrace so i think we'll just put like a little table and chairs moment mm -hmm. and some plants Mm -hmm. Oh, I love that you can see like, actually no, you know what, I probably shouldn't point out things because you guys are gonna like know where I live. Okay, I'm gonna show you the bedroom and then like the bathroom, I'm gonna film it later and insert it. I don't really need to say that because you're not gonna know. But this is the master bedroom. It has these doors that we had in Vancouver where it just slides, so it does have a door. But yeah, this is the bedroom. Again, it has like the exact same, you can come in. You don't have to get my full body, it's okay. I care more about you guys like seeing everything. But don't come too close to my face because my fake tan's fucked. Look at this. Ooh. Looks like there's no glass on this right now. Yeah, it has the same view, which I love. I think what we're gonna do in here is, I guess we'll put our bed like along here. This isn't the biggest room and we have ordered a new bed, which is a queen. So I think the bed is probably gonna take up majority of the space in here. But I also like the idea, because we do have the lounge room and the office, that the bedroom is literally just going to be for sleeping. And the room for the bed. Yeah, literally. And um, I probably will do some filming in here because obviously like the natural light is amazing. But yeah, it also has these cupboards here with mirrors, which is absolutely, oh my God. Sorry, I just looked at my like fake tan situation. But it has these mirrors, which I like, and then we have this storage space in here. There's honestly not as much space in here as I would like there to be, but I do have a clothing rack that I could set up if I needed to, and the other room has these cupboards as well, so I think, like, Cal and I will probably just take one each, and to be honest, we don't really even own that much stuff. But yeah, this is the room. I'm really excited about it. Okay, guys, the electricity has come on, so I'm going to show you the bathroom and the office. So this is the bathroom. This is a covered bedding washing machine and well, I guess just the washing machine we don't have a dryer. European laundry. Does that mean when the laundry doesn't have a room? Yeah, it's when the laundry is in a cupboard. Well, this is the European <laughs> laundry. Mm -hmm. Then we just have the sink here. I'm not the biggest fan of the fact that the sink is just like, what do you call that? Free hanging? <laughs> like freestanding. Yeah. But I guess you can do some like storage things down there. These mirrors here are actually cupboards, which I love because I'm just imagining the perfect like skincare setup here. Like be so good and then we also just have this shelf here which i feel like we could put a couple of little plants on and it could look nice yeah. rather than having like products i feel like the products can like go in here mm. a toilet don't really need to say much about that <laughs> and then we just have the shower here i do kind of wish we had a bath but at the same time the shower is massive um it only has one shower head but that's fine and to be honest i only ever use a bath to scrub off I said it only has one shower head because don't you reckon it looks like it could have two? Like it's so big. Yeah, the tap's like on the other side. Yeah, yeah. Heads there. That's kind of good though because you like turn the tap on. Sometimes the water's not your right. Get your temperature right. But yeah. Jump in. Okay, this is the bathroom. It's a pretty good size though. What's sauce? And then we just have the office. <laughs> Well, it's 
technically the second bedroom, but we're gonna use it as an office. It's pretty similar in size to our master bedroom. And then it has these same cupboards as well, so. I think this will be your cupboard. And then I'll be my take cupboard. The other one. The coolest thing about this room, guys, is that it obviously doesn't have a window because there's no way it could. But it has, it has this. this. What do you even. It's not frosted glass, it's literally just. No, it's just glass. a window, but it is um, like tinted from the other side. Yeah, I'll show you like when or I'll insert a clip of what it looks like from the yeah. other side. But I really like that it has this because I hate the idea of not getting any like natural light from a room. Like mm. if, there was, if this was just a wall, I would hate this room. Room. What are you staring at? It already has like a hook on the wall up there too. Oh, okay. Does it have a, oh, it has a curtain too, so yeah. you could pull that down. But yeah, this is going to yeah. be Cal's office. Have you got any idea of how you're going to lay this out yet? Yeah. I guess either like desk there or desk there. Yeah. But stay so tuned if you guys have any ideas of how we'll we can do it. Let us know. And then the lights also dim as well, I think. Oh. Yeah. Oh, that one flickers. One thing, guys, there's like one white light and then two yellow lights. Has this you... installed a strobe light? What? There it is. Boys looking for love, a young man needs violence. Um, anyway, we have a dimming light. It looks here. like that thing where it's like, I'm a bitch, I'm a boss, I'm a bitch, I'm a boss, I'm a shine like glass, I'm a bitch, I'm a boss, I'm a bitch, I'm a boss, I'm a bitch, I'm a boss. <laughs> That's it. This is it. That's the office. Oh, what I was going to say is that if you've been following me for a while, you'll know that in our Vancouver apartment, we had yellow lights and I switched them all out for white lights. And that is exactly what is going to happen in here. This is well, going the, to be the, white. Stro the strobe light is white, so. Okay. Whatever that means. Perfect lighting for parties. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, that is the apartment. I'm honestly obsessed with it. I know that it's not the biggest apartment in the world, but Cal and I have lived in studio apartments for the last like two and a half years. So for us, this is absolutely perfect. Um, some things I wanted to tell you is that we have a 12 month lease on the place. So this isn't like our forever home, but it is definitely going to be a fun like place to live for 12 months. My friend Kelly lives in the same building building and yeah i'm just excited to be like back in melbourne in general but if you're new here and you haven't subscribed you should definitely subscribe and if you have any ideas of like how to furnish the place or decorate it please let me know in the comments below because i do value your opinion but yeah anyway i'm glad the fridge didn't come during that because i feel like i would have been so awkward anyway i love you guys and i'll see you in my next video bye <laughs>